Now it's time for taking the mic. Now, we regularly report on the state of lawless Britain here on the Independent Republic, but tonight I've got a story for you that will shock even the most hardened viewers and listeners to Talk TV, who are used to hearing terrible tales from the UK streets. That's right, it'll scare the pants off you. A gang of brazen and violent thugs has just been jailed for 54 years after a terrifying reign of terror that operated in the West Midlands, which was finally ended when they were caught last year. The gang carried out violent assaults on shoppers and staff in a variety of locations around West Bromwich and Birmingham using hammers, knives and even an axe. You can see them here. They attacked arcades, a travel agent, various retail outlets as well, in a crime spree where they targeted cash-rich businesses and made off with thousands of pounds. They took hostages, they terrified innocent shoppers and customers and operated with impunity in the area for almost a year, breaking into safes, stealing getaway cars and demanding cash from anyone who got in their way. Just dreadful. It was only thanks to a team of dedicated detectives, some brave eyewitnesses and a lot of CCTV footage that this reign of terror has finally come to an end. But the Wild West nature of these attacks has brought a sharp focus onto how dangerous our streets have now become. Owning a business which is open to the public is about as hazardous as it can get. Only this week we heard how employees of the Tube in London feel powerless to stop the thousands of fair dodgers, antisocial youth and violent offenders they're having to deal with on a daily basis. Over Christmas, Hyde Park Corner Station became a battle zone as more and more hordes of lawless individuals crowded through it to get to the attraction rather famously known as Winter Wonderland. They tell of how there are rarely any police to help out, but on the occasions when they do turn up, they're often overwhelmed by the sheer scale of the numbers. Each and every day, there are new and more shocking videos of violence and lawlessness from all around the country. Today, I saw thugs attacking a parked car outside a pub in Wakefield, smashing windows and severing wing mirrors with machetes before being chased off and punched by customers. Are we really willing to put up with this violent and lawless state of affairs? Is London to be turned into a version of New York in the 1980s, where I lived, where gangs of robbers would routinely steam through subway trains, punching and robbing passengers at will? Entire parts of the city became no-go areas, and business people were too terrified to open up shops in many neighbourhoods. Manhattan was a toxic and dangerous place for tourists, and pretty soon, they stopped coming. Our cities are going the same way. Thank goodness the West Midlands Police had a win this week and jailed these animals that preyed on so many innocents. But we've got a long way to go, ladies and gentlemen, and someone needs to sort it out.